Welcome to another episode of Sorry We're Cancelled. I'm Deion Curry. And you know who this is? B to the motherfucking T. <laughs> Happy Tuesday to all you guys out there. And man, I ain't gonna lie, man. It, it, going down a conspiracy theory road is like something you kind of almost wish you never did before. It's like, it's like seeing that first titty when you're too young. You know, that, 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 that's not attached to your mom or grandma. You know what I mean? Like, you see your first porn, like, I, I shouldn't be watching this. And, I mean, you know it's going to be a problem later on in life. Maybe, maybe you smoke dope too early and, and you like it. Maybe you have your first taste of alcohol in, like, sixth grade and your parents think it's funny. And you go, uh-oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Next thing you know, you're, 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 you're burnt out at fucking eighth grade and middle school and shit. You got a full beard. You got a full beard going, man, life Smoking is tough. Smoking with the fucking teachers. You're 13! You know what I mean? But that's that's what it's like. With How many times are they gonna keep me in eighth grade, man? <laughs> but but that's what it's like with this conspiracy theory. Now it's like like I, I don't know if you see that last post I posted on Facebook. I said that I said that I don't know anything about math or engineering, but that bridge should sure it go down funny? You know what I mean? I said that bridge went down kind of funny the way that bridge. How many bridges have you seen fall down? That's true, though. But, but they do kind of go like... I've never seen a bridge just fucking fall down. I played London Bridge as a kid forever. But All our bridges pop quick. But they were doing construction on it. But, I mean, if you watch them cars that got off that ship, I mean, before you knew the ship was going to hit, those cars that fucking got off, it was... I don't know, man. But my buddy Ken hit so me up and I he was saw, like... I saw a fucking thing on Twitter. So Obama made a documentary movie or whatever earlier this year. and one of OB? The, yeah, one of the ships in the movie uh, runs aground, and it's called the White Lion. And apparently this boat that was leaving Baltimore was going to Sri Lanka, who has a lion on their, um, <laughs> on their flag. And so everybody was like, oh, see, this is, like, why did Obama, it's, it's like, come, guys, like, Dude, but it's I want to, can we just, one conspiracy at a time, please. I don't have the energy or the effort to go down all the why Obama is crashing boats into Baltimore bridges. Yeah, why would Obama crash a boat in Baltimore? I mean, <laughs> of all, why Baltimore? Well, see, that's the thing, though. It's like. Because nobody cares, you, nobody cares about Baltimore. Well, it's just the conspiracy of everything being connected to 13 families. and Everything is connected to 13 families. And they basically run the world. They, they don't basically, they do. And that's why, and I, I, to this day, I swear, you know what always remained in my mind was yesterday we were talking, and the doors are closed, and Malik, the way Malik turned around and looked back <laughs> like that, man, and that was real fear that Malik had, like, man, that will, that will be etched in my mind, because he was like, it was just us three, there's nobody else, and the way that motherfucker looked back like this, I go, man, we're done, bro. Because they, they kill people. They, like, bro, we, we know that. systematically just, they, but they will kill people who have nothing to do with it, and, you know. But we, but we can't be the only podcast out there that's talking this shit. I mean, no, I know. I'm, I'm not worried about anybody else but us. I don't give a fuck about what everybody else is talking about. I'm just saying, like, I, I've been watching, like you said, going down this rabbit hole, and like the things that connect together, like the way people move, and it's like that never really did take off the way it should have taken off, or you know. Or the way that building went down, it, it went down like Just, it was detonated. I mean, sir, and the way that I've that seen lots of buildings on fire, I ain't never seen them collapse in on themselves. And and the way that plane looked when it hit, they've been like, hey, that don't look like it. I mean, man, I I don't know, dude. It, it's scary, man, and uh, it's just scary. Here's, man. I'll tell you what I do know: somebody lying. Somebody's lying. Well, duh. Somebody's lying. I don't know who's lying, and I don't know what they lying for. I just know they lying. I don't know what to believe in anymore, man. I really don't. It's fucking crazy. Like, you watch a Little League game, like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, is this, I mean, is, I this, mean, is there a scout here looking yeah. for kids? Like, is this on the up and up? Turn out the scout was actually, you know. I mean, because look at the fucking, uh, the Michigan State doctor who was doing all that and fuck, fucking with them kids, yeah. them little girl gymnastics. Man, you don't never know. I worked at a fucking warehouse where we shipped gymnastics equipment. Uh -huh. And the woman who owned it, her husband was like on the Olympic team. Like he was like a coach. Okay. And he was cool, but like he worked with people who wasn't cool. But, yeah, you know but he didn't know. Who talks about, hey man, I'm touching these girls. I mean, no one says that shit. At what a, I'm saying is, at the, at the somebody house. does tell. And then the cover up happens. 
But because people have been telling for a very long time. But they're afraid. You, but they're afraid to tell because they tell they might be afraid of getting killed. That's what I'm saying though. So like. Some of these events in the world, I'm starting to look at them like, were they trying to get somebody just to prove a point? Like Kennedy? Well, definitely like Kennedy. presidential sense, but I'm talking like mass shooting type shit. Dude, the mass shooting, you notice that they always increase around election time? I mean, they really do around election time or midterms or whatever, like, oh, a mass shooting. I mean, think of the Vivalde, the one in Nashville, and then they kind of just disappear. From the from the from the limelight, and there's like regular people who lose their families, and you but, know they're just victims of some sinister plot to get one person that you know the CIA or whoever is like just, hey, we got to kill this one person and make it look like it was a mass tragedy when in reality it's like these people are literally just collateral damaged to make this one death not look suspicious. That's why sometimes, honestly, like cops who are actually good cops, they see bad things happen, they go, you know what, I quit. They set the guy on fire on live TV, Dorner. Like, so, man, I'm just starting to think, yeah. like, man, all this fucking mainstream media and... Oh, mainstream media is bought out. Not, Everybody knows that. Not, not even just that, but, like, the narratives... So, you heard about MK Ultra, right? No. So CIA, MK Ultra was basically CIA was trying to figure out telepathy and telekinesis and how the, the, yeah. how the human brain works and frequencies and whatnot. Yeah. So basically, scientifically, frequencies matter. Like there's a, oh, I know about there, that. So there's a health frequency yep. and there's a sickness frequency. Yep. If you're vibrating at a frequency... You like, can have sound therapy. Right. So if your frequency are low, you're sick. You're supposed to have a higher frequency than I, I can't remember the specific number. You guys can go Google it. But like they figured out a frequency for propaganda. Yeah. The, the, the Nazis did that. The Nazis did that. It came up with the Nazis. Right. And so I was watching this video and they were talking about the frequencies of hip hop and how there's yes. a certain vibration with drum patterns, how they can get you. Sometimes just, it's more aggressive it's, to, 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 I mean, it's, but they did the same thing with, with, uh, with Taylor Swift too, they talked about. And so it's one of those things where I like, I'm looking at it and I go, why did I stop liking rap? Is it because I got older and realized what they're talking about is not real, first of all. Right, they're all broke. You can't live like that every day. And if that's all they ever talk about is the partying and the ball. And I'm like, who, you know, I'm an entertainer. I know I can't go out 24 seven, even if everybody's paying for You can't afford shit here and you work here. What I'm saying is even if I could afford everything, like physically you can't keep up that lifestyle 24 seven. And that's all they talk about. They never talk about spending time with their kids. And so I just got to that point where like, I don't want to hear this anymore because I know it's full of crap. Well, because you're, you're maturing. Right. But what I'm saying is, is the frequency. I know that. That they, they push this message out. To, right. Right. They got us. Brainwashing them. Hating each other. Yes. There's a frequency that makes you more aggressive. And then you couple that with. Fluoride. How they how they poison the water. They put fluoride in the water. That's why I brush my teeth with no fluoride it's toothpaste. It's like, man. I don't need more deodorant. Check this out. No, please don't. <laughs> I'm getting serious. I just, no, I'm, I I'm just, being dead serious, man. I mean, I'm glad you're coming over to my side, but it's not going to get any better for you. Now you're going to be laying awake in bed going, I don't believe in anything. I don't believe in anything. That's what I'm anymore. saying. Now you're going to be like, mm. I never did to begin with. I had hope. Now I definitively have zero hope for humanity. And so whenever I see something, people go, oh, I'm like, no one fucking cares. We don't really care. We, we, you will shoot your neighbor for the last slice of bread. And at the end of the day, that's all we're ever going to be as people. And that's not worth saving. When I was getting on my motorcycle to come here, for some reason I go, man, we're done. We're not coming back. We're not. I mean, we're, we're too far gone because now, now that everybody knows, the government knows, whatever, whoever controls this thing knows that there's so much dissension out there, they're going to keep spreading it. They're going to be like, okay, they control the media, so they're going to they're put, they're going to let people look over here, look over here. So it's almost like a three-card Monty, right? They're going to have you going, okay, I believe this theory. Oh, what, what, this over here. So they'll have you doing this while well, they're doing some fuck shit over here. And I'm glad you're finally coming to my ways about conspiracy theory. But like I said, it's not going to get any better, man. I mean, that's why, I mean, and honestly, 
that's why I remember like, I think it was, well, I don't know how many podcasts ago, three months ago, when I was like about, uh, I said about Jimmy Carter, uh, the, the theory was that aliens invented religion. And that still, to, the, to me, makes more sense than the old ways we were taught. And it still does, because now it makes sense. If you think about it, I mean, if you really, really think about it, now it makes more sense. And the frequency thing we're talking about is they know in bad neighborhoods or black neighborhoods, right, they change the frequency there, get you to be more aggressive, right, so they can put you in jails that they own, right, right so they can get paid for it. So, they, you know, cops have always been, cops have always gone to bad neighborhoods and uh, black neighborhoods and, you know, arrest people for, for some bullshit because they know they can't. The white folks do. Because they can't, but, 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 yeah, but poor. Poor people, poor, basically. Yeah. yeah, go to the, you know. The, because you're a check to them. And, and, and they can't defend themselves. I mean, they get a public defender who's overworked, mm -hmm. right? They ain't going to really give a shit. Okay, look, we're going to plea bargain you for five years. Yeah, just For jaywalking? Yeah, yeah, for five yeah. years. Or you could go to court and, you know, rack up hundred and they're not going to do it. $100,000, and, you know, you could lose, and then we're really throwing the book at you. For jaywalking. And they're not going to do it. Did you, did you see a one on TikTok? I mean, who knows if it was real or not, because I don't believe anything anymore, but these kids are just walking. And there's undercover cops come in and go, hey, you get those kids come out here. They were jaywalking. They were undercover cops, supposedly working for uh, DEA or was it DEA? Yeah. Okay, yeah, DEA. They wanted to talk to them. like for jaywalking. The lady was like, no, I might get my kids. He goes, oh, if you don't get your kids in the next five seconds, I think I've seen that. You're going to jail. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, she should have said, well, get your lawyers. I get my lawyers, but you ain't bring. Yeah, they ain't they, no. You can't arrest me for jaywalking. For my kids jaywalking. Jaywalking. Man, let me tell you, the only place that's obstruction. No, because jaywalking isn't a uh, uh, what you call it. A, 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 fel a felony? It's, it's not even a misdemeanor. If you, in L.A. it is. I mean, I, if you've been in L.A., man, they take traffic very seriously. If you jaywalk in L.A., yeah, they'll they'll actually. But this wasn't in L.A. I've seen somebody. I've seen cops kill the. Uh, Actually killed this black dude for jaywalking. I lied to you not. They have it on video. They shot him and killed him for jaywalking. Because they were like coming at him, hey, you jaywalking. And he was like, man, you, you more. And they tussled and they ended up shooting him. And I'm like, of course they did. Yeah, of course they did. And nothing happened to him. And they're, you know, boy, well, they got a little vacation. It's really sick. But this is this is this thought really blew my fucking mind. And I'm gonna ask you two both this question. What would you do if you were Diddy, right? Diddy? Yes. Say you're Diddy and you're guilty of all the things you've been accused of. But what people don't know is, is you didn't have a choice. So what if, and I'm not saying this to defend him whatsoever, but it, I, I honestly had this thought go, what if this motherfucker didn't even have a choice to be as evil and as awful as he, wanted, as, as he is? Like, what if there's something that we don't know about? That he didn't go along with? That if, if he tried to do it, it would be 10,000 times worse than what it is right now. And, like, he would, he's the one guy who's mitigating it to the best of his ability, which probably is not true. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm just the thought crossed my mind, and I wanted to ask you guys, like... I mean, it's almost like you're saying... They want him to do something. He goes, nah, I'm done with it. And they go, okay. And they bought the heat down on him? No, not necessarily that. But, like, he was, he was doing everything that he was doing, but he wasn't doing it to the, like, the, extent. the worst extent. Like, what if there are people behind him that are even worse, and he's like, I'm biting this bullet for, like, I don't know. Just the thought of, you know, People get into this shit and they see how fucked up it is and they try to change it, but they don't want to die. And so, you know, it's that situation that the slave has to where do I run away and just die or Take a chance do I getting caught. stay and protect people to the best of my ability while they're here? And I'm not saying that he was protecting anybody because clearly he's on the run and they have. Is, is he back? Is they, I mean, is he back yet? No, they haven't. It would be breaking news. Diddy's in custody. Oh, well, he, last I saw that they said he was in the uh, Caribbean, but he's back now. I heard, I heard he, like, he, he landed and he's, I mean, he called him or something. I mean, I glazed over something and saw that. I haven't Glanced seen over anything something. that said he's in custody. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, just, I love how 50 Cent is trolling him. I think that's funny to me, how 50 Cent is trolling him. But um, other than that, I mean, man, listen. Because I know it's bigger than him. It's yeah, oh, yeah, everything's bigger. Like, remember I told uh, Gazelle, 
uh, Giselle, whatever. Her dad was so bad. Yeah. They they found him in the middle of the ocean floating. And they they did some some Jason Bourne shit. They kind of boarded boat and shot him. He's in the middle of the ocean, just fucking floating. That's how bad he was. So, man, there's shit that we don't know. We know to us. I think we know. A little shading to a point, and then there's a whole another level. We're like, what? So the would you fuck rather you know? know, or would you rather not? Know? Fuck, I don't know, man. Like I feel like now, I don't believe in anything anymore, and I'm more pessimistic about everything now than I ever was before. So, and I had this discussion in my helmet on the way here. Like, ignorance is almost bliss. It's like. Black people not really knowing their history or anything, it's almost better just being stupid and, yeah, man, so we're going to get some ass and we get a 40. But then when you know where you came from, that we actually built this motherfucker, we're getting screwed, they're, and they're denying our education. They're literally... The 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 the, new, the laws are passed with the DEI with the you know the diversity stuff how they're denying that and and the CRT they're basically Jim Crow 2.0 laws that's what they are because they don't want black people educated and and that's just the truth because I think they, they they figure hey man these got they're coming up at a, at a rate that we're not comfortable with well they're well, they're we're out uh, we're out um, producing producing reproducing reproducing Repro okay yeah. the reproducing part. Hey, if poor people are not reproducing you, they're still gonna be poor. It's not even. A, it's not even that though. It's the fact that the intermingling. That's really the intermingling because black on black births aren't exponentially. We're not gonna. Pass. But you talk about interracial birth. You mean? What I'm saying is, all white children. Those numbers are declining. Yeah, because you got so more Maliks out there. Yeah, you're having a bunch more Maliks and, and Steph Curry, my nieces and nephews, than. They're having just all white kids. Which on this level, people think it's great. And don't get me wrong. And I do too. I really do. I like to see on this level, everybody like, oh, we're getting along. What level is that? I mean, seriously, this, the, the ground level. The, I mean, this level that we're walking on and we're talking and we're meeting people. Like you're at a stop, you know, the stoplight going across the street. Hey, man, how you doing? How you doing? And you see a little mixed kid with a fucking old dude, old white dude. And you go, ah, oh, that's good. Blah, blah, blah. We think, you know. But I guess up top, they don't like that shit. I guess somebody somewhere doesn't really like it. No, they and, hate it because yeah. it, it's... And I think they're putting... Once you start to learn about your history... Yes, and, exactly. That's that what I'm type saying. of thing, it becomes, oh, shit, there's going to be a mirror pointed back at us. That's why, and that's why, seriously, that's why the Discovery Channel, before it became... Uh, no, this channel, before it came to Discovery Channel, they used to show the atrocities of, you know, the, the Nazis and, 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 uh, and the civil rights. And I guess somewhere down the line, they said, when they changed the Discovery, they go, hey, fuck this, man. You know, let's, let's show aliens all the time. So it's easier for people to believe in aliens than to believe racism still exists. So that's why they changed it. So now you got kids coming up, not knowing the civil rights shit, and they're going... And then, you know, they think Martin Luther King did everything and there's no other black people out there. And the fact is, we did, like I said, we did everything, didn't get the credit for it. Now we're going, hey, uh, you owe us a check. And they're like, uh, no. no. And they're, no, we owe us a check. And they're going, ah, fuck this. And now you see all these laws being passed now, like I said, with the Jim Crow laws. So it's like, we're almost, it, it's the Jim Crow, and it's like I said, Ignorance was almost bliss. When we didn't know shit and we were just do, 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 and whatever, and we were the stereotype that they thought we were, and we actually bought into it, they were like, okay, there was good. But now, when they see it, we're going, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is, this is our shit. Like, like the woman, there's a, a black girl, Sarah, whatever it was, back in the day, right? Was she, uh, there's a couple of oil, oil uh, almost like, a little, yeah, yeah. Oil, but they made her register as an Indian, Native American, or, 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 or white. Because they didn't want her name going in as black to get, I mean, on the record. They had, she had to re register as Native American or whatever that she wasn't black. I mean, it's, it's, shit, it's little shit like that that annoys you, but they, but they do it. You know, it's that little microaggression. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But now that we're finding out about it, they're having trouble with it. And they always go, well, we don't want white kids to feel bad. Meanwhile, I got a pass from Georgia to Florida with this big-ass Confederate flag. You know, flying outside of a Love's gas station, or you got statues of, of Confederates, but you don't want uh, white kids to feel bad, and you've been doing it to black kids your whole fucking life. If from the get go, if you treat us better from the get go, you wouldn't have these problems. From the very beginning, if you treat us with respect, from the very beginning, I don't think you'd hate, I mean, granted, rap probably would have sucked, but you wouldn't have had these problems from the beginning. You know, you'd have shitty ass boxers. Boxers would have been white, Native American, black people would I don't have to do that. I, I have money. Well, why should I be? 
Why should I be fighting? I mean, for money. <laughs> I'll just, I'll get these two white guys or Native Americans to fight, but no, I have money. No, I'm not going to. That, no. I mean, sir, if we. If you we know do, what will happen if we were treated fairly? Instead of the NBA being owned by white people, it would be owned by black people. Instead of the NFL being owned by white people, it would be owned by black people. We would. But, but we'll never know, though. We'll is, never know. Sure, if, we were, if, we, if we were treated fairly, everything that we created, we would have ownership of. But since we weren't treated fairly, everything that we created, we sell because we weren't treated fairly. So you're trying to you're trying to get to the starting line when they've been at the finish line for 400 years. It's like I have to sell all this shit to get to here, and then from here I build my own shit again, and I don't sell it because I finally have the, the capital. And it's like we don't have an. And this is the plot that thickens, and this is the conspiracy theory that ties everything together. And yes. so is when uh -huh. you fucking build that thing and you sell it to them, right? They're in charge of it now. Then they fucking blackmail you for when you build your own shit, and if you try to go without them, they fucking discredit you or they fucking kill you. And then the next person comes in and they do the exact same fucking thing to them. And it just happens over and over and over again. You preach the choir. It's fucking, you're a cop. Man, I was trying to think to myself, I was like, how come all the good leaders are out of here? And the current leaders that we have now are the most raggedy of, that we can think of. They're the shitty, and like, they haven't done anything to make our lives better. It's an agenda, and I think it's just getting worse now. And I'm like, how come, when's the last time we had somebody so charismatic and I'm like, it was Obama, right? And then what did Obama do? He had to follow the game plan. He, he what, nuked the, uh, uh, so you drone the fuck out of Yemen, right? So you either become a cog in the machine. Or, or they, they kill you. you. There is no revolution, especially not peacefully. Now, I'm not call, calling for violence or any of that shit. I'm just saying, if you think that you can get in there and vote away your problems, you have lost your fucking mind. If we would get together in January 6th on like the IRS building and the Department of Treasury, I'd be all for that. But it's always on some bullshit. Like that's that they, that's, they have destroyed community. There is no community in the United States. So, there is none. So now on this level, it's gonna get. I think it's gonna get ugly. They're gonna. We're all gonna be killing each other for their shit. We've been doing that for so long. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm glad you're coming around. There's a point in time, I've always had this mindset, there's a point in time where you have enough money that you're ever going to need. And that <laughs> once you get there, your job is to help as many people as you can. No, because they ask rich people, they go, how much is enough? And they go, and this guy goes, a little bit more. I mean, how much is enough? He goes, how much is, how much is enough money? He goes, as much money as, as you know you can get and a little bit more. No. We, but we don't know that though, because I mean no offense, but I mean we're we're all at this level. So who's to say that if we start balling out, if we go, okay, I got enough I'm money. To say. I mean we're, but, I'm but, to but say. we say that though. Okay, but what no, if no, 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 you're you're changing the narrative. No, 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 I'm not. He's talking I mean, about getting a little bit more. Okay, if you get a little bit more, get a little bit you're always going to be getting a little bit more. And that's my point, is that get there small. is a point where you have enough for you, even after you get a little bit more. And at that point, you should be reaching back out to help as many people as you can. That sounds great, but people on this have always think that, but when you get that money though, I mean, who does that go, you know what, I'm gonna start giving back. I'm gonna start giving money, who goes, I mean, what has Jeff Bezos done? I mean, we don't know though, but I mean, his wife had, I mean, his ex-wife has. His ex-wife pretty much gave away all the She's business. literally going to give it, exactly. And, my point is, is that it's not impossible. It's not, but I don't think it's going. I don't think it's going to happen. I'm not I, saying it is. I'm yeah. not hopeful for it. I'm just. I'm like, if we, if people on this level, as you call us, if we all looked at each other when it, at the end of the day, and be like, we're a team, guys. Well, I'm your fucking neighbor. The, hey, listen. That's, at the end it, of the it day, all sounds great. When the power goes out in the building. Your apartment's next to mine. We're both out of power. Hey, are you good? Or is it 
nigga, give me your last piece of bread. And I'm like, give me your bread, motherfucker. It, sh- it, sh- it, should, it shouldn't be give me your bread. It should be like, hey, let's work together and figure out why it the power's be, out. But, but that's, this, uh, the way that I just, I don't know what it is about this P. Diddy shit that just got me so pissed off at America. It's like, amazing. P. Diddy did it for you. P. Diddy like, was the tipping yeah, point. I'm like, this is, P. Diddy was the tipping P. point. P. Diddy, yes. I'm like, America, P. Diddy is your fault. This is your fault, America. And somewhere Shine is this going, is, now you're coming I'm around. I'm like, this is, I, this is our Shine? fault. Yeah. The one that took the fall for him when they were at Jennifer Lopez club shooting or whatever it was? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's like, oh, now y'all coming around. Mm-hmm. I mean... <laughs> it's funny. P. Diddy was your tipping point. I don't know what mine was. No, because P. Diddy's conspiracy theory led right. to Michael Jackson's conspiracy theory. Link the Prince. The, the Link the Prince. Prince and, and, and the Jays. And then <laughs> that's where it all went. So <laughs> I'm just glad you're on my level now. I, I almost want an apology from you. But uh, yeah, like, you're okay. not getting that. Because what yeah. do I have to be sorry for? I, mean, I say for sorry, but... I don't say sorry, but it's like I, I no. Must, your shit was crazy. The ice wall in Antarctica. I'm calling bullshit on. I I, I was still about to say. I think aliens are behind a lot of some of this stuff. I really so fucking, okay. Let me let me let me <laughs> let me fucking play with your idea for a second, right? Okay. 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 Since yeah. aliens are behind this shit that's going on, right? To a point, yeah. yeah like so, they yeah. have mandated to the powers that be that this is how things are gonna go. Yeah. What if that's the Thing that I was talking about earlier, where they didn't have a choice. Aliens didn't have a choice. No, 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 no. The people who are fucking in contact with the aliens, and the aliens are like, "Yo, I want it to be this way, or we fucking murdering all y'all." So they're like, "All right, let's band together." And maybe this evil fucking thirteen families that we have running the world are doing it to the best of their ability to, <laughs> to satisfy the aliens. I mean, to 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 pacify. But yes, but. Who's, but what if those people, the 13 families, are interbreeding with the aliens? I heard, true story, I heard one of these conspiracy theories, there was a shootout between the aliens and the Americans. In, a, in an underground cave, there was a shootout. Like, first of all, what, what, were the, what, kind, of, what kind of ammo did the aliens have? Was like, was like a lady, like, pew, pew. They, they, and they were, like, they were ducking behind shit like a cowboy movie. shot cave paintings. So that's, <laughs> where, that's, that's actually, every cave painting you see is actually bullet fire. <laughs> so I guess maybe E.T. was real. Maybe that shit was real. Maybe an alien came down, befriended a family, and he wanted to go home. He learned bicycle motocross. <laughs> From a little white boy, Kansas. Or and, was it Nebraska? No, and he fucked up. And he fucked up Drew Barrymore and met her. Had to be a drug addict at an early age. And, you know what I mean? Fuck, man. Adrena I don't know. Chrome, Adrena Chrome, Adrena Chrome, Adrena Chrome. It's going to get to the point where, okay, I think there's, they've already kind of told us that aliens are here. So they're going to start, uh, I don't know when they're going to reveal it. Like, okay, guys, here's, I, I don't know how to pronounce her name. And, and she comes out and talking and they're like, oh my God. I mean, you're like, okay, because they showed this, they showed this AI, like, uh, my, and I mean, it was cl- almost as close to a human being. I'm like, holy shit. And if you get those two out there on the streets, right, and they're going to make it like where, I mean, what if you get a fine-ass alien who looks maybe a little alienish, but she's still a woman and she's fine. Maybe she has three titties, four, I don't know, four titties, what? But she's still fine. And, ma- and they, we start interbreeding with aliens, so you have a hybrid Alien human, you know, kind of like a, a gas electric car. That's what we're gonna have as, as a as a as a as a being, not a human being, but a being. What have hybrid beings? Hybrids. I mean, sir, we we'll have hybrid. Okay, it's like it's like black and white people mixing together. Okay, or whatever race you kind of mix. Now you'll Maybe have synthetic synthetic people. Okay, so you'll have you'll have regular humans and aliens interbreed, and we'll have like a a new. Species of people, or uh, species. It would be a new species. Species, yeah. and, and then, then, and then the actual humans like us. By me saying that, somebody go, "Hey, you're a racist, or you're a speciesist, or whatever." Like, no, I'm not. I just believe humans should, you know, be with humans. And they go, "Oh!" And it starts all over. And again. it starts all over again. So let me throw this at you: What if 
th this was the simulation and we're just waking up to it and that's how all the simulations. What are our simulations, by the way? So you know how circuitry is just electrical signals through wires, right? Yeah. So this is all our nervous system is. It's a bunch of our nerves are electrical signals sent through our bodies. So in essence, we're nothing but meat computers, right? Oh, that would explain a lot with me. <laughs> but the power of the quote unquote AI to ascertain information is once you unlock the ability to understand something, it's forever yours to control. Okay. Right? And so what if all of this is just a recreation of a cycle that happens over and over and over, I believe over it. and over again? For us. Every time we wake up to realize, oh shit, it's a simulation, that's when it starts again. Man, this is getting deep. For us not to smoke marijuana, this is getting deep. <laughs> well, I've been smoking. Well, I don't. So. <laughs> but still, I mean, for us not to smoke marijuana, it's getting deep. But it's true, because I was thinking, how... This is probably going to be our worst viewed episode. <laughs> I don't really care. I think it's a good conversation. No, I love the conversation. No, I love the conversation. I mean, it's, I mean but it's, it's a deep conversation without us being fucking high. It's a very Speak good deep. yourself. And, I, <laughs> and honestly, it, it's hard to believe that the earth has dodged meteors that are bringing up to destroy us for all these, for just the years we've been alive. That the earth is constantly doing this and shit, you know. Well, like, yeah, I don't think you understand how far away everything is. But there's also like meteor. the moon being as close as it is is fucking. What, three years away? No, three days. Three days? It, takes three it days. only takes three days to get to the moon? It takes yeah. three days to get to LA if you were driving from New York. Well, yeah. So it's, not, it's nowhere. We the moon is really close, but everything else is really So if we left away. on a Wednesday, we could get to the moon by the weekend? Yeah. Dude, I can't. I hope I'm alive it for that. It takes the light from the sun eight minutes to get to Earth. Dude, I can't wait for that shit. So if... The sun suddenly disappeared, it would be eight minutes till we found out about it. Whereas the moon, uh, sunlight being reflected from the moon takes, I think, it's like a second and a half, something like that. I think it's gonna be dope. Can you look that up real quick? How long it takes moonlight to reach Earth? I think it's gonna be dope as fuck. If we could get to the point where we could like have, just go to the moon for the weekend and shit, like I would not be going. American to has flights to the moon and shit. Yeah. You thought turbulence was bad going to fucking Georgia? <laughs> who you think is gonna be the first people up there? The cabal Rich people. people who were doing the kid the, pedophile rings, or just some regular guy? Imagine a pedophile out. ring on the moon. <laughs> God, there probably already is one if they're aliens. <laughs> Stephen Hawking's <laughs> fucking everybody behind craters and shit. Oh boy, this is great. I'll never get caught. <laughs> he said, I don't. Uh, I don't need my chair up here. <laughs> no, I was, I was like, "Woo, uh oh, moon police." <laughs> That's what Space Force is for. Yeah, yeah, Space Force. Damn it, they caught me. <laughs> we walk around on the moon, we get pulled over and shit. <laughs> oh, ain't this some shit? Where you boys going? Come on, man. You guys ready to serve up some Earth justice on these moon assholes? <laughs> They're fucking hillbilly out of space. Hillbilly moon people. Hillbilly, <laughs> hillbilly moon police. <laughs> they got Confederate flags on their fucking <laughs> Confederate flags on their fucking spaceships and shit. He pulls over. Where you boys going? <laughs> Come on, man. It's bullshit. Oh, I'll show you what's bullshit. You boys want to go to Mars? You boys want to go to Mars? That's where we put you boys at. It's gonna they, be a long <laughs> journey. They have a <laughs> maximum security prison on Mars and shit. This is bullshit, man. <laughs> you want to go to Saturn? You want to go to Saturn? <laughs> what you going to further and further? What you going that ring? What you go inside them rings? It's over. Like damn, they should that nigga the Pluto. He must have really fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what you go inside them rings on Saturn? This shit is over, huh? I'm talking 23 hours mandatory life. You want to go to Pluto? You want to go to Pluto? That's crazy, dude. Hey, you think it sounds crazy now, but let me, let me ask you this though. We think about like I've rethought about the way I look at prison. Prison? Yeah. Please like, tell me on that shit. So so half the people are in prison is for drugs. Right? Yeah. I started smoking weed not too long ago. About Again? I mean, I, I, heard, I thought you gave up. Or you gave up. Uh, that's, yeah. uh, that's just selling. That yeah, that was I sold weed like a long time ago. I know, ago. but I said so I thought but so you still smoke it. No, I hadn't smoked it until a couple months ago. Okay, oh, so yeah. you back on the shit. <laughs> what are you not understanding as I had never smoked it until a few months ago oh, I thought when you... I started smoking it. Oh, I thought you always smoked it. No, I never smoked you it. You just sold it. Yeah. Okay. Jesus. 
<laughs> Wait, so you never smoked before, uh, like ever, like not just at a party or anything? I mean, I've had a blunt here and oh. there, but I never paid for weed. Oh, like okay. that's what I consider. Oh, you never. I started smoking. Oh, you never paid for it, but you had like if you had a party. I had, yeah, it's you like. Yeah, like. <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm not gonna talk about that. Never no, you can get put names to it. Go ahead. <laughs> no, because the event would give it away. No, I no, it wouldn't. Yes, it say would. it. Anyway, I was smoking with the people who had me smoking some shit. That Smoke was... weed every day. So, okay. So, go ahead. Yeah, I, so, Jaleel White has his own weed. Jaleel White. Oh, uh, Mr. Urkel. Yeah, yeah Urkel. Yeah, 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 I partied with him one time. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I did. And so, uh, we, we smoked, some of his, smoked some of his shit. And his shit was phenomenal. Like, like, like you were thinking about man, the moon shit? I, I only took one puff, and bro, I was, I was floating for like an hour. You were thinking about the moon. I'm like, it. man, this shit had me feeling. I was just like, I felt amazing. Like, I can, huh, no more this is no peace. More. Yeah. This is level. This is tranquility. Like, I just felt great. I didn't have any, like, nothing bothered me. I'm yeah. like, eh, I feel good. You know what I mean? Anyway, and I'm I forgot what I was talking about. I know you did. But you know what? But seriously, but here's what I hear, though. Now that the government's got involved in the CBD, that, that they're... That this new weed is different, I hear. That's what I hear, because obviously I don't know, because I'm a nerd like that. But I hear the new weed is different, like they're dipping it in something, or like it's different. And I feel what now? Cat piss. <laughs> I was joking. Cat piss. I think, I think they're piss. spraying it with raid and shit. Though. Well, yeah, no, I hear there's some, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I don't know. Dogs pee and wheatgrass. But I don't know, but they're, they're putting something in the, in the weed, I hear that it's like it's, I guess it's more, it's different now. And I, can't, I can't speak from experience. I never did this shit in the first place. But uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I hear. But at the same time, anytime they make that shit legal, people in jail for sell, even selling weed, they should be expunged of their fucking pr uh, They should be that's let out of jail. That's what I was talking about, prison. I was like, yeah, half the people in prison are there for drug drugs, offenses. Which me personally, and weed is not drugs. And me personally, I've always looked at drugs like, as long as you're at the crib and you're not hurting anybody, why is it any of my business? Like, I feel like all drugs should be legal at your house. At your house. Yeah, you should. You can't be out in public high. That's that's a safety hazard. But you can be for regular people who aren't doing what you're doing. And then you turn into a criminal when you're high, fucked up around people, because there's a misunderstanding here. Like if everybody knew this nigga's high and I know what he's high on and I know who this person is and they're not a bad person, that would be cool, but that's impossible, right? So stay at home, get as high as you want to get high. That sounds great. It's great, I know, but once you start doing hard drugs and that shit really chemically changes you and you fucking turn into a weird, because we all seen what fucking meth does to people, right? Oh, yeah, we seen what meth, we seen what other shit does to people. Right. Meth, right. fentanyl. Well, how it just, it literally sucks your life. Oh, right? yeah. It, but what oof. I'm saying is, is, that's your right as an American. You're not hurting anybody other than yourself, which I can't, I can't police that. Doesn't Oregon have, you, is every drug illegal to a certain extent? Oh, yeah, Oregon, Oregon? is like, oh, is it well, Oregon or Washington? I think it's Oregon. It's Oregon. It's yeah. Oregon. yeah. So uh, I mean, every it's, it's every little. I mean, a little bit. Of, you have like. And they have places where you can go and you know do it under supervision of like healthcare providers. Now I don't know how good those healthcare providers are because a free place where people go to do drugs sounds to me like that hourly worker's not really gonna have a good time cleaning shit off the walls and you know when people are in there doing what they're doing. There's you know. Yeah. I feel like once you go in that room and you do what you do, when you come down and you try to leave that room, they should be like, nope, here's a bucket and a mop. Fucking, you got to clean all this shit up. I tell you what, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I really want to go to Hiawaska or do Hiawaska and, and go to one of those retreats and, and get in one of those things and, sw and, and sweat out. Yeah. And, you know, and what? And what are they your mind? Yeah, I do. I, I really want to do one of those. I heard, like, I've talked to two people, a couple I people. I kind of want to do it, too. I want to do it, and I wanna, but I got to be with somebody I trust. No, but we I, I definitely would. should do it. We should film it. No, 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 no. no. That would be a great. I know, no. Sorry, we're canceled. Documentary? Are you oh, kidding me? Sure. You out of your goddamn mind? Man, I, watch me break down, and start crying. My daddy never loved me. <laughs> Nigga, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> we would have final say over what gets shown. Yeah, I'm sure we would. <laughs> Malik's like, this is gonna put us over the top. Malik's like, yeah, I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> Malik, piece that shit together like. like 
<laughs> like he's sewing a fucking sweater, like your grandma showing a sweater in the sixties. We find mail in Malik's trash that's from the James. <laughs> We're like, what? And then Malik's like, I'm sorry, guys. About what? About this. <laughs> All right, take that body out. Okay, put the put the clone BT in. And then clone BT comes in and go, this BT's kind of more like normal. <laughs> he, he likes black women. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you yeah. motherfucker. Damn, Malik waited and boom. It'd be funny if they, the clone BT comes in, but he's like, he talks normal like this. He's not really loud. And that's like, how we would know something was wrong. And he's like, you know, Dion, you're right. As a matter of fact, I was smoking marijuana the other day. <laughs> and they're going, what's wrong with BT? But you'd be a clone too. We, he had to take out both of us because yeah. we're both, I mean, because on the street level, you're extremely smarter than me on the street level. You know like, hey, T, we need to get out. Why, Dion? Because, you know what I mean? I mean, I would be like, why, Dion? And this and I'm fucking knocked out. Because that's why. Yeah, they go through my pockets and shit, and you're like, I'm trying to tell him, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, but I wouldn't be like, uh-oh. Yeah. This guy looked friendly over here. <laughs> Next thing you know. But I, I kind of want to go to Ayahuasca and do that Aaron Rodgers bullshit, you know, where you got your... Is Ayahuasca a place? No, Ayahuasca is the shit you take, right? Ayahuasca is a... Ayahuasca. Ayahuasca. What is Ayahuasca? It's... But is there any place like that around here? It's a plant. No, you... No, this yeah, stuff you keep is... saying go there. I'm like, where the fuck... I, I mean, but it's... <laughs> they have to what retreat. Is in, uh, Brazil? Or, or Colombia? Oh, no, that means it got to be like in California, isn't it? No, because the substance is, like, dangerous. Like, you... Well, get, it's probably still do it here, though. You probably get it here. Uh, but I mean, I don't trust anybody. I don't think you can do it legally. No here. offense. No, no. I wouldn't no, trust anybody no. in Indiana. What drugs can you do legally here, for real? I mean, they still, they still well, trip off weed. Oregon, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but you can do, I mean, honestly, but okay, it's ayahuasca the drug or ayahuasca the retreat? How, what is well, ayahuasca? the drug. Like, you do ayahuasca. Okay, do you smoke it or do you drink it? Or it's like really bitter tea, right? I think you may, it's from what I'm reading, it seems like a. A tea almost like Yeah, it's like a tea, and then you sweat in like a like a sweat thing, right? They have mushroom tea. And they have people, like this one girl was telling me like, you you like, you get some people and you yell in their face, and they yell in your face, and they end up crying, and then the one lady was like, you, you know, like, they end up like, I mean, like, I make mean, shitting on themselves or whatever, and people it's saying. It's like an actual, like, retreat type it's, of deal where you're, this is a whole event. Yeah, a whole event, like, I mean, they, I think she spent like days, and it's in the wo I mean, woods, in yeah, the jungle see, or something. that's like white people stuff. Like, you could do that with shrooms or anything, where you could just get a. Yeah, I want to do like a like a thing. They have shroom tea, don't they? they yeah. Well, well, you, well, you start. I heard they well, you start uh, uh, hallucinating, and then you start, you know, crying and shit. <laughs> and you're like, I'm, hey, yeah. I used to be. Hey, what did I, I say used to when be I was, anti all that brain changing shit, but now I'm like, man, fuck, change my brain, nigga, because I'm tired of seeing the shit that every year we do the same old song and dance. We reelect the same old old ass motherfuckers who want to do it the old ass way and this new generation of people's finally going to get their chance to come up and then they're going to push that fucking button and all the shit's going to blow up and I want to be. Yeah, I want to I want to go on, on, on a I want to go on a journey. I want to go on a journey. I'm down, man. Yeah. So where can we go for this? I want to do. You I, could get it. It's just like coke or anything. It'd probably be harder to find it, but you could get it and just do it. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah, allegedly, yeah. Just watch, watch the one time a cop watched it. We got to talk about. You can get it. I know where you just. <laughs> I know a dude. <laughs> but, but. Ask your girlfriend, Malik. You got a girlfriend, right? Yeah, I don't know if she knows about fucking ayahuasca. Is, is she Asian? Yeah, but I don't think that has anything to do with. I know. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> I don't know why. I just wanted to the say ayahuasca that. Ayahuasca plug being Asian. <laughs> I don't know why. That made no sense at all. But I just wanted to say that. That's weird, isn't it? So you think back to. You talk about <laughs> <laughs> Asians. You remember the movie American Gangster? Yeah. When Frank Lucas yeah. used the military planes. Right. <coughs> to bring in the coke. I mean, uh, the heroin. The heroin. Mm -hmm. the heroin. Frank Lucas is. <coughs> Damn, you all right? Uh oh, they got him. They got him. They put it in the water. <coughs> yeah. Frank Lucas and Nikki Barnes yeah. were partners. Nikki Barnes <laughs> underneath him was Diddy's uh, father. Really? Mm-hmm. He sold drugs for Nikki Barnes. Wow. I didn't know that. Damn. The government knew about the drugs. And so when I started thinking, I'm like, is that when they got him? Is that when they got P. Diddy? Because there's no way he becomes 
the star of industry the way he did without being connected to that type of money? Well, if, if you look at old stuff, I mean, once you get your foot in the door in the industry, you can work your way up. And I've seen it happen. I had a buddy who did that. He was a receptionist for it, and he worked his way up, and now he works for Jimmy Kimmel. And he's high up. But I saw him. He literally was the receptionist. But he took a uh, leader, uh, you know, doing like calling meetings as a receptionist, and they liked that. No, 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 no. And, and so what I'm saying is, is the, the connections <coughs> of the military person who knew about the drugs being flown back and forth. Okay. Right? That person would obviously know Frank Lucas and, you know, the little, like, there's a connection there between the people who handle that yeah. militarily, yeah. legally, mm -hmm. to the people who arrested Frank. And, like, so the money connect is like, oh, we got to find a way to get this money back now that people know about it, so we have to move it around somewhere. We have to launder it somewhere, right? What if it in that they find... Pete Diddy, Sean Combs, the little music genius. And you know how the music industry in Hollywood works. They're all connected with those same people who fucking figure out the money. They, they use the same fucking accountants, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure, right? Because yeah. they're all what? Connected. No, they're all one group of people. <laughs> Like the money people are. I know, I know, I know. So they're all connected. It makes me laugh, right? the fact that, yeah. And so what if that is the, like, there's connection. I, I doubt it. Maybe there isn't. There, every, everything's connected in life. But there's I, no coincidence. It, would, it wouldn't be surprising if that's when they figured out, let's keep an eye on this kid. Because we all know they're watching children all the time. Like, that's their thing. They love kids for whatever reason. And that's when they fucking, it's like, Put a bug on him. And then he starts to, you know, do this music thing and he meets people and they're like, now send in the guy. And he goes, hey, I can take you from this to this. All you got to do is be with me. And like, and then that's how it, and then they use him to get all, to get, you know, all the other people that are underneath him. And like, it just keeps spreading like that. And I, I, I hear you. I mean, it, what they say is that what they do is sometimes is like when rappers want to renegotiate, renegotiate their contracts, whatever, maybe they'll take them out and give them something to drink, whatever, and, and they get knocked out and then they wake up naked mm -hmm. and, they, and they film them getting butt fucked by some dude and they go, Okay, so if you want to negotiate, well, if we show the uh, the country this, and it's you getting fucking sexual black, and you're like, oh, you motherfucker! But I was knocked out, and then they and they do something to the uh, to the camera, making like you liked it or whatever. You ever see the movie Ricochet with Denzel Washington? Yes. And John Lithgow. Yeah. They did that to him. That's right. Lithgow. They, they, no, they, they're always about ten years ahead. So you know what that? Okay, think about that it. That movie came out in '91. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, look up when, uh, what movie did Morgan Freeman play uh, the president? It was in a... Uh, 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 the Someone like White House Down or something? No, White House Down. Uh, before that, it was like one of those uh, Armageddon, or was it Armageddon? Uh, uh, no, Some of All Fears. Some of All Fears? Was he the, I think it was Armageddon. No, he wasn't the president. Just find out when uh, Morgan Freeman was the president. Was, what movie? Some of what, All Fears. What movie? Angels has fallen. Olympus has fallen. No, that, has fallen? no, that was... Uh, he was, he no, was no, that was Jamie Foxx. Olympus has fallen. I'm looking Jamie Foxx was the president then. Jamie Foxx was that. No. no, that's White House Down. Okay, that's White House Down. That was yeah. Olympus has fallen. Uh, is, but he was he was there, he was there, uh, no, yeah. he was the secretary. The president died, and then he became. But, the, but he was the president in more than one movie, though, wasn't he? I think it's some of all fears. But I think it's more than one movie, some though. Some of all fears also shows up. The movie See, you're so, talking so, about. So at least, so it's at least two movies. He, he was dies president. in some of all fears. But he was a president in at least two movies, though, right? Uh, Morgan Freeman was. Yes. So. What's the earliest one? The first one he was the president. Some of all fears. Some of all fears. And what year was that? 2002. Obama became president in 2000, what, seven, nine? Eight. Eight. Okay. So they, they kind of get us ready for what's coming. Hollywood does. Birth of a nation. Yes, because the Pentagon. Hey, black people don't start fucking white girls. I mean, seriously. Because the Pentagon has a movie budget. And they also have an alien budget. Of they, course they do. They do. I guess, and, I guess they so buy them free meals when they get here. A, <laughs> they get them a nice house in the suburbs. So let's, this goes back to the satanic can, can ritual we get a, stuff. Can we get a Mercedes? Yeah. Okay, yeah, at, at the Grove. Well, no, it's just the fact that the Pentagon is a pentagram. Where all it's, these... It's a, pen, it's a pentagram, right? Right. Where so all, the devil... So how, isn't it funny that a plane f flew into the, the, the Pentagon... 
where they kept the money records. Isn't that just the craziest thing that during 9-11, the, the Tower 7 falls the, down. Is that a red dot on my head? Oh, shit. It, 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 isn't that weird that okay. all that money just disappeared? Stop. Stop, Dion. Please stop. Speaking of money, I sent the uh, money asshole. Yeah, we we got to stop because I'm, I'm getting scared. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know, but I've always been when saying. I'm, start thinking about how everything's fucking connected. I know. And that somebody was telling on somebody and people, there have always been whistleblowers. People have always been trying to tell. And, and people always kill themselves in their truck. They use one of two methods. They discredit you. They find a way to say, oh, you sold drugs in and third grade and <laughs> you saw a titty when you shouldn't have. And, and so you're not, you're a bad and you not person, women out to have right? sex with them like Dr. Huxtable did. Supposedly did. Allegedly did. So it's like, man, this shit. Am anyway. I, am I the asshole? Ahead. 42, uh, one, 42 year old male. I have a teenage. What? You gotta read the top part. I am. Uh, am I the asshole for not letting my son spend his money on whatever he wants? Oh, this ought to be good. Uh, I, 42 year old male, have a teenage boy who loves video games. Recently, I opened up a Venmo account for him. Aw, as long as the account is under my name, he can have one under the he can have one under the age of uh, 18. That means I can see his balance and transactions at all times. He got a lot of money, put it in for Christmas, and his birthday was and, and his birthday was in February. So even though he doesn't have a job, he has money. I also occasionally send him money just because I love him. Oh my God, this guy's the greatest guy ever. I don't, I didn't, I don't go snooping in his transactions, but it's but it sends me an email every time he purchases something. And I couldn't help but notice multiple transactions in something called Riot almost every day. I asked him what what that was, and he said, fuck you, Dad. No, he said it was a it was for a video game he plays called Valorant. I I I like video games such as COD myself, Call, Call of Duty. Duty. Yeah. So I understand wanting to buy in-game cosmetics. But he was spending close to $40 daily and was running out of money like a crackhead. I told him that he needed to chill out with the video games, and he said he would. But today, I saw that he purchased another $100 worth of whatever he gets from Riot. I don't want to police what he spends his money on, and I know he really likes the game, but I also don't want him to become an irresponsible spender. I told him that he wasn't allowed to spend more than $20 a week on the game anymore, and that if I caught him going over the limit, I would just say <laughs> with the Venmo. He told me that it was his money, and... <laughs> That he had a right to spend on whatever he wanted. To that, I responded with a comment about where the money came from in the first place, like women do. You know, women go, uh, whose house is this? <laughs> you know what, fuck you, bitch. Me and his family. And he stormed off to his room. He won't talk to me anymore. I talked to my wife, and she said that I was harsh. And uh, she has me wife. And she said that I was harsh. I never heard a black woman say that. That was harsh. <laughs> that was harsh. And that was even, and, and that even don't agree with his spending that it is his money to use for whatever Even he likes. Though. I don't really agree with her. So here I am asking Reddit, am I the asshole? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, it's his account. If he goes broke, he goes broke. Yeah, man, like you gave him the money so that he could spend it on what he wants. What yeah, do you mate. think he wants to spend the money on? Yeah, The mate. money that you're giving him, what is he doing with it every time he gets it? He's spending it on what he wants, which yeah. is a video game that he's having fun with, and he's not harming anybody. You should be proud for, that your son has something he really, for now. really enjoys. For he's now. a teenager. There's a, a way to teach him about money that ain't got nothing to do with the Venmo account. Mm-hmm. Yep. Policing what he buys is not how you buy him with your child. So, yes. If I right were you, home. I would investigate, like, yo, in what ways can we get you more money so you can buy more shit for the thing that you like in this game so much? That's the approach that I would take with my or, kid. All right, you spending a lot of money on this game. Let's figure out ways for you to get more money so you can buy more shit on this game. More that money. You like. More money. I'm going to tell you what I'm not going to do. I ain't going to give you any more money so that you can keep doing this. If I have a problem with it for whatever reason, I don't even understand. To me, logically, it makes no sense that you seeing your son spending his money on something he likes is a financial crisis. And it's not drugs, right? Like, what are you talking about? It's not about? drugs. That's what we all do. We, you go buy the house that you like. Whatever he wants to spend you his put, money on. You put what 
it, what's in your house is the shit that you like. That's literally all you do is buy stuff. You, I've never gone to the grocery store and bought shit I don't like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy me a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know. But, uh, My son's spending all his money on the things he likes. Shut the fuck up, dude. Get off Reddit. If your son is buying pussy, at, 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 you shouldn't be mad. Like, huh, son, what is Alexis? You'll find out in about five minutes. She'll be knocking on the door. <laughs> I mean, it's his money. I, I can't. I, I have never bought anything I don't like. I've paid for things I don't like. So, so if you don't I've got you... traffic tickets. I didn't like that. I've paid, but I've never bought anything I don't like. So, Dad, yes, you are the asshole. Uh, what do you think, Malik? I don't think his dad is real. I, I see where his dad's coming from where it's like you're spending hundreds of dollars on a video game where I think a time will come where you're like, I just think he's, he's uh, the foundation for his financial literacy is not that well. If he's just this money that it, it's, it's showing that this money means nothing to him, that he's just spending hundreds of dollars on a video game when there'll be a time when he probably... I'm assuming that if he wants to get a car, if he doesn't have one already, like he could probably get a slightly better car if he saves some of this hundreds of dollars that he's putting towards a video game. So you're saying his life priorities are fucked up. But because he wouldn't save enough money for the car that he wanted because he would keep buying fucking items on a video game? That's, that's what you got out of this? I'm saying that it just seems like this is a, he's building a bad, bad foundation. It's not about, he's obviously buying How? Stuff. He's obviously buying stuff that he likes. Now, that's not an issue. It's that he's spending so much on things that aren't, and they make, joy is, joy is obviously a good thing to, that you can buy, so I'm not going to say it's bad, but Did I just you, think he's building a bad, bad foundation. Okay, so this is what you say, son. I'm going to give you X amount of dollars for this, and you have X amount of dollars for everything else. That, that's when you say, this money is for this only. So you just set up an account for that. And whatever he spends on that account, he can't buy no more because ain't nothing else in there. And then the other money, you, that's how you teach him financial literacy. Not saying, hey, I'm going to cut off all the money because you're just buying the things that you like. That's all we ever do with and, the money we have. And we don't know how, he's just a teenager. We don't know how old he is. He could be 13, 14. I'm just saying. The, 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 it, sorry, go ahead. I think isn't that, that's not weird to you to tell your kid what they can't don't buy things you like, son. Don't, I don't think he's saying that. I think he's just saying like don't spend so much on like, but, like you know, be bullshit. Like it, that's what it is. It's just bullshit. It like, sounds like that, but I mean think about it. He's a teenager. I, was, I, mean, I agree. I right. Know. What what else does he have to spend his money on? Unless you're teaching him, hey son, set money aside for He should teach his son financial literacy. If he if he has if if he Gave his son a Venmo account, set him up a Venmo account, then obviously, hopefully, he's teaching his son financial literacy. And if he is, then he's doing a shitty job of teaching him what, it, you know, hey, when you have money, be responsible with it. But his son's not, but I guess he's saying, hey, it's my money, right, Dad? You set the account up, and you said it's my money. So if it's my money, I can spend my money the way I want to. It's almost like what I'm going through now. I got life insurance. No, I got this life insurance, right? But the guy who set it up for me, who is my sister-in-law's son, right? He said, okay, you can buy in, you can uh, take money out of that account if you want to, right? I said, okay. So I go, hey, I call him up, hey, I want to uh, take money out because I, you know, I, I automatically draw money out. They draw money out every month. And I, you know, so I said, hey, man, and I want to take out this much money. And they go, ah, uh, you can't. I go, why? First they said it was, you had to be, you know, it's got to be a year. I said, okay, year came. Okay, I want money out. Now it's this big thing about getting my money out. I, to get my money out, I got to fill all these paperwork out. and this, I go, it's my fucking money. Why is it hard to get my money out? It's not. Because it's never your money. It's, man. It's never so, your money. It, that's what I'm going through. So I kind of feel for that shit in a way. So, but the dad's an asshole because he said, it's your money, son. And even though he don't like what he's spending his money on, it's his money. And, well, this is the thing. I go, this is where the dad has the problem because he says to his son, but where did you get that money? from us. And so ultimately, if you're going to police his, his money, then it was never his money to begin, to begin with. with. So you already, f that's why the dad's a fucking asshole, in my opinion. Okay. It's like, if you're going to come back at him like, well, where'd you get the money from? Like, like the, you know, if you're going to be a bitch like that, <laughs> yeah. then 
take all the fucking money and don't talk to me about money ever again. It'd be great if it's going to be like that. It'd be great if your son did that. Well, you know what? Take the fucking money then, Daddy. It'd be great if your son did that. I don't know how old his son is, but you know what? Well, take the money then. I didn't want it anyway. I'm just like, man, I'm just buying shit on the game because I can't do shit else. I'm fucking 13. I can't go. What do you want me? And the wife side with the son anyway. So you mad that I'm spending all the money that I have, whatever three, four hundred dollars that I have at 13, 14 years old. You're mad at me for spending that on a video game instead of what? Putting it into a savings account that you haven't told me anything about. I got a Venmo account. You, you, Are you, you mad? You you haven't told me about how to invest. Money probably ain't had this conversation, and you mad that I'm like, yo, and then you gonna hit me with, well, you know where the money came from. The how, fuck? How about I go buy a firearm and I come back and light your ass I up, mean, daddy? <laughs> like, yo, bro, why are you coming at me like this? This is not how you talk to people, especially your own kid. And his wife even kind of sided with the kid. Like, so ain't, ain't nobody like him at that money, house. Like, hey, okay, boom, he runs out of money. Then you you ask him what happens next. That's how you handle that conversation. You told him, hey, I'm going to set a limit on it. If you go over it, I'm going to, you know, boom. And he's like, what? It's my money. I should be able to spend it or how? He's like, all right, cool. You spend all your money. Then what happens? Then, that, then that's the conversation that you have. If you have a problem with him spending all his money on the video game, you don't do it while you got money in there and try to fucking trickle down economic his ass. <laughs> Fuck that. I would sneak money out and teach him a if lesson. You want to, what I'm saying is Rob teach is him that Rob lesson. Is son. You know what I mean? Like, let him run out, and then the next time he tries to get money, you be like, yo. I'm teaching you a very valuable lesson. It's like, you got to earn. I can't just give you money if that's all you're going to spend it on. Yeah. Because I have a problem with that. And then he hits you back, I'm 13. What do you want me to spend my money on? Ah, now we get to have financial literacy conversation. Yeah. How if you start saving money, at 13 and you don't spend it all on video games, then you can have fun, but save a little bit. You gotta live and by that yourself. way, by the time that you get to be my age, you'll have X amount of dollars that you'll be able to slice and buy. Whatever, whatever. Same thing. Whatever, whatever. And you'll have And that's the conversation that you have. Oh, okay, well, t tell me a little bit more about that. Or, bitch, give me my goddamn money. I'm trying to play this fucking game, nigga. Goddamn, with your financial literacy, nigga. I'm trying to kill these niggas in this fucking game. And that, folks, is the end of our episode. Because <laughs> I got to go. <laughs> anyway. That's it. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's it. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for listening to the, uh, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> what do you call it, the conspiracy episode? Yeah, well, yeah, this one was... Heavy. Yeah. Uh, but make sure you go to buy me a coffee. I'm down the rabbit hole. We'll call this down the rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole. Sounds down the rabbit hole. So, yeah. So, make so. sure you go to buymeacoffee.com backslash sorry we're canceled. Become a cancel crew member for as little as six bucks. Get you a bonus episode. Uh, there's different tier levels. You can get a t shirt with two different logos shipped directly to you uh, for 25 bucks, free shipping. So, make sure you do that. Do that. And uh, that's it. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. I've been Dion Curry. Now you know who this is. I'm Big T. That's the Leaky Leak on the ones and twos. You know what we say about this time. You know the word. Peace. Is that a red dot on your forehead?